Welcome to Newport Living and Lifestyles. I'm Kristen and I'm with Dan Keating of Newport Polo. Hello, Kristen. Hi, thanks for joining us today. Thanks so for having me. The big question that everybody would like to know is where did Newport Polo begin and what's the history? Newport Polo began in 1875 okay. when James Gordon Bennett brought polo to the United States courtesy of a uh, member of the British Army, Captain Candy. They had a dinner where they had a boxcar load of Texas ranch horses brought up and they, <laughs> they started the first polo game. Ten years later, they invited the British for the first international match. That's kind of the inspiration of the modern Newport okay. Polo. And um, it, that was really significant because countries didn't compete against each other in sports at that time. And it was uh, actually, it, it predated the resurrection of the Olympics. I did hear that and I read that on your website as well. So was polo invented in England? It was not. It was actually invented in India in the early 1800s, although there's evidence of it being played in China in about 800 years ago and in Central Asia as much as 2,500 years ago. But oh, wow. modern polo comes from India, and uh, the British were the occupying army in India at the time, and they immediately adopted the sport, gave it the rules, and exported it around the world. That's fantastic. So how did you get involved? Well, uh, I, I used to do a sport called the luge fairly seriously, and um, in my uh, early 20s, there's not a lot of sports for uh, people out of school, so I took a polo lesson and immediately became addicted, and uh, the rest is history, so to speak. So how do you feel about the person who introduced you to polo? I still don't forgive him. <laughs> Well, this is a lifestyle. It's your entire lifestyle, morning, noon, and night. So it is. I can understand that. You do love it. Yeah. So tell us about what's to come for the upcoming season. Well, we have uh, eight international matches and eight city series matches okay. and a few uh, Newport Cup games as well. So tell us about the, how the polo ponies are cared for. Well, polo ponies are um, they're usually thoroughbreds. Uh, we get ours off of the racetrack, uh, they're repurposed thoroughbreds, okay. and uh, some of them come from Argentina. Many players have horses that were raised and trained in Argentina and brought by airplane to the United States. And uh, basically, they have a very strict program. It's kind of like any athlete. They're walked in the morning, and uh, they have special calisthenics in the afternoon and uh, practice games three days a week. And uh, then the Saturday match is their, uh, is their highlight of their week. Well, I'm sure that keeps you guys fit, too. <laughs> <laughs> we try. Yeah. We try. So if somebody wants to come on a modest budget or an mm -hmm. extravagant budget, what does that look like? Well, uh, uh, admission is very simple. It's uh, $15 for adults. Children are free, so that's kind of a bargain. Yeah. And uh, that uh, gets you into the general admission area where you can have a picnic and bring your own uh, beverages and food. Or you can uh, get a seat in the VIP lounge and uh, sit in the pavilion at, at a white tablecloth table and have some champagne, have some champagne and, some food and food and, and, and shelter and, sh and shelter. <laughs> if you want shelter, some people love the, being out in the, the sunshine. Uh, true, and uh, so it, it, it ranges. And some people throw some very extravagant parties, and some people uh, want to go very simple. Have you had a wedding here? We have had a wedding oh, wow. here. My, my sister was married here, and our announcer's daughter was married here. Oh, wow, but it's beautiful. It is. It yeah. Is. yeah. So what can people bring? Uh, people can bring their own beverages. Uh, they can bring dogs on a leash if okay. they're social. <laughs> they can bring their children if they're social. <laughs> they don't have to be on a leash. <laughs> but they don't have to be on a leash, right? And, uh, but uh, above all, they must bring a good attitude. Oh, I love that. And, and be really fun and uh, be prepared to have a fun day. No negative attitudes. That's right. That's a big no-no. No, -no. no negative no -no. attitudes. All in high spirits. So with that, you guys have an upcoming polo gala. Yes, we do. It's kind of the highlight of the season. Uh, this year, we're hosting the Moroccan team. So they're, they'll be flying in from Morocco. And the, uh, uh, the nonprofit that we're doing the benefit for is Save the Bay. Nice. So do they have an outfit for you? <laughs> uh, my traditional outfit is black tie, but uh, they, the rumor is, is that there's something coming from uh, Morocco. It might sport a fez. <laughs> <laughs> well, the fez I don't mind so much. Yeah. <laughs> well, black tie is classic. Yes. So it is a black tie affair. Yeah. So if somebody wanted to purchase tickets online, 
and visit more and learn more about your website, where do they go? Well, the website at uh, mptpolo.com is pretty inclusive. There's a lot of information on the website uh, in terms of uh, tickets, pricing, also uh, things of uh, how, how to dress for polo and yeah. what you might expect in terms of time and, and what game might be coming up. There's also some historic things there with uh, matches that have been played in the past, so you can get the flavor of that if you want. Yeah. So don't wear high heels. High heels would probably be not the right thing. We're talking about being out on grass, yeah. and uh, everybody loves uh, our version of the seventh inning stretch where you get to go out onto the field during halftime and tread in the divots. So the grass does not need to be aerated? No, it doesn't need to be aerated. The horses take care of that, and uh, the ladies would be safer in flats yeah, I agree. or wedges. I agree. Yeah, pants, dresses, a sweater, bow ties. Blue blazers, blazers, casual, smiles. It all works. <laughs> well, is there anything else you'd like to add today? Uh, no, but uh, just thank you for uh, having me on, and uh, we look forward to your other broadcasts. Oh, thank you so much for coming, and we look forward to seeing you on Newport Living and Lifestyles.